Okay, I'm going to try to start it, do it first. Well, for me at least. I'm going to take a little look at the downtown parking garage. And you may notice something a little different. Do you see something different about it? Notice the lights? Like the lights? Notice how the lights look brighter now? And whiter? Well, that's because they're changing the lights in the parking garage here. In case you don't know, this is downtown. Believe it or not, that light's actually LED. So, even these also are LED. I think Ken look at I don't know if you can see any of them, but these are actually LED lights. Interesting, huh? At least it's a little less sketchy looking now. Feel more a little more safer in here now since the lights are a lot brighter. You may remember they were very orange and kind of dingy. It made this place kind of feel like a dungeon or like somebody was going to mug you or something like that, though. But anyway, this is what. Okay, what did I just hear? I thought I heard somebody over there. Okay, maybe that was out in the alley. Anyway. This is what I'm here for, right here. The elevator. And for first, for me, at least, I want to do a little night ride. My battery's getting low. So, here we go. And as we all know, it's a Dover. So, let's take this up to five. Let's see if they change the lights on the roof on the parking garage yet. Looks like one's burnt out now. Oh, we were on two. Okay. Yeah. It's got a little bit of a Dover buzz going on there, but not really. Oh, God, this thing's shaking. This thing's gotten worse. <laughs> it's shaking now. No, the lights are still the same up here on the roof. That's okay, because I kind of like these box lights they have up there. It's pretty fancy. So, we are going to take a look at the Butler skyline at night. There's the former Union Bank building right there. Then later became National City Bank, and now it's uh, PNC Bank. There's the YWCA lit up at night. I think this is like around 8 o'clock at night we're doing this. Over there in the distance you can see Butler Memorial Hospital right there. There's the government center. There's the Butler County Courthouse. And the Butler County Jail or prison I should they call it. Still seems like a jail though. Yeah, see that? They're slowly, slowly changing all the lights from that over there. You see right down there, that orange light, sodium, whatever, light. I think that's what they call them. To these insanely bright LEDs. I don't know if these lights are going to be changed yet, but I, they probably will be, because they're not really energy efficient. Apparently they're trying to be a little environmental friendly. I'm going to come up here and look at how they got done, what so far, how far they got done with the uh, government center's annex. And it looks like it's pretty much taken shape now. Matter of fact, I think it's getting as high as the government center. Holy crap, they got the floors in it and all that. Let's see, one, two, three, four. And by the looks of it, there might be a fifth floor going on it soon. I don't know. I think you can see uh, Pullman Square from here. Those yellow oranges lights over there in the uh, hold on in the uh, this distance right there, where I'm pointing, where I point, whatever. And I think there's a light on at the Intermediate High School. There's a little nice view of the courthouse at night.
there you go. So, I don't know, let's see what time it is. It is, okay, it is, looks like almost nine o'clock, quarter till nine. There's a little LED billboard over there at the car dealer, excuse me, tire dealership. And, let's see, some lights are on in the government center. I just hope my battery compartment door doesn't open in this video. There's a better look at the prison. Nothing really fancy about it. The, of course, well, duh, it's a prison. It's not really supposed to be fancy. But they were attempting to try to make it fancy with those lines and stuff. I don't know why they're doing it to a prison, though, but... Or jail. But I don't know. They kind of did the same with the Allegheny County Jail. Matter of fact, I think this was designed by the same people that did the Allegheny County Jail. The current one, not the old one. The old one's, like, right behind the Allegheny County Courthouse. Okay, Century Link's down there, which used to be a Sprint store. No, it was a Sprint... I don't know, operating. Operation Center, whatever you want to say. And I think my minute's almost running out. So, uh, let's hurry over to the elevator. These lights are probably going to go... probably be replaced with some more modern LED ones. And, apparently... By the looks of it, this elevator, or these elevators that probably used to be here, looks like they used to be traction. Oh yeah, and I believe they had like the 70s black Dover buttons as well. Because I think I remember it clearly. Okay, okay, we got 1 minute and 45 seconds left. We're going to have to speed it up a little less on memory, so... It's going to... Oh, it's stayed here. Strange. Okay, so we're going to finish off the tour by going down to the first floor. Okay, hurry up, hurry up. This thing is slow as molasses. Okay, 121, 120, 119, 118. Okay, we can try it. Oh, it's shaking back and forth. It's that over overtime again. This time at the Butler... City of Butler's parking garage. Okay, is it going to open? I've got a few seconds to spare. Okay, 59. Okay, I'm going to wait for the door to close. See, if you look up close there, those lights are actually LED. Okay, so there it goes. And just in time. 